Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the Haya Toys Rodan, part of the MonsterVerse Godzilla King of the Monsters batch of figures. And it's just too awkward for me to have it spinning around or up on a flight stand. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Uh, it's a very, very basic figure that tends to be how Haya is doing these things. I imagine some of you are gonna be interested, some of you are not. They're cheaper than SH Monster Arts. They're a little bigger. Um, eh, they're a lot bigger, I guess. It, are they worth it though? That's gonna be what it comes down to. So let's go ahead and get them off the stand and take a closer look. All right, I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. I guess we'll do it like this. He is from front to back about five inches. That's gonna make him just about 13 centimeters. And then from wing to, uh oh. Let me grab my other measuring device. From wingtip to wingtip in this pose, he's about, and we'll just call it 15 and a half. You could probably get that out of him. That's gonna make him about 38. Let's say 15 and an eighth and then 38. That's good enough. Of course, you can pose it to change those dimensions a little bit. And then here he is up against Darwin, if you're curious. Not that that's a real helpful measurement, but that's what it is. Okay, so question of the day. Who is your favorite monster? There we go, focus. Uh, who's your favorite monster in the MonsterVerse? Um, I'm gonna go with uh, Ghidorah. I think Ghidorah for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the aesthetic on this guy. It's made in this orange plastic, it looks like, and then it was dry brushed, is what it, it looks like to me, it was dry brushed. Uh, which actually gives a really nice effect. It's not completely uniform. You can see this wing's a little bit lighter than over here, but you do get a really nice effect throughout all of what you might call the, the scales or the, the shoots or scoots or whatever you would call them on this character. His lizardy skin type thing is pretty well detailed though, fairly basic, but that's pretty much what you're gonna get for this kind of thing no matter who's making it. So that's fine by me. Sculpt is pretty good. If you look at the head, there's a lot of tiny fine detail in there. It looks pretty nice. I like that. It's very, very tiny detail. Zoomed in super tight. There you go. Looks pretty good. And then, like I said, the body is sculpted pretty nicely. Okay, so aesthetically, I'm fine with it. It looks okay. Um, yeah, I have no problem. So I'll give the aesthetics a... Um, I'm gonna go eight, because it is still very basic, and I think they could, because it's so basic, they could definitely aim to be a little bit more uniform. Uh, the dry brushing patterning is very heavy on here, and there's a lot more orange. This is a lot more feathered out, and not as orange, so it's not consistent. Don't care for that as much. Now, as far as accessories go, all you get is the flight stand, which holds the figure very poorly. It's not a great design with all the extra swivels built in around the hinges, and it just doesn't hold the figure for crap. So, zero out of 10, hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. All right, now as far as the articulation goes, it's not bad, it's somewhat interesting. Uh, there's a couple different ball pegs going on in the head and neck, so it can look all the way up like that. And then you can also bring it down that far, which is pretty far, I like that. That's gonna be good for some very particular poses. I think you guys will appreciate that. And then you do get, if I can do it on camera, you get the articulated jaw, which doesn't do a ton, but it's it's pretty good. I forgot to mention in the aesthetic section, he does have some weird pink paint on his little beak spikes, teeth, whatever you wanna call them, so that's a little bit annoying. But as you can see, the, the mouth does look pretty nice and the mouth is articulated, so that's pretty good. And then for the torso, we have basically a diaphragm joint in here. It mostly does forward and back movement. There is some side to side, but that's not gonna be altogether that helpful. But you do get that, it'll rotate also. You have the same joint, it's another ball peg for the tail, which lets it just move around a little bit, nothing crazy. For the arms, the shoulders are just big ball pegs, which I think is fine. You get decent posability out of that if you wanna do that. You can do them forward, but then you get that big split back there, so that's not a good idea. I would leave them back almost all the way. Uh, and then the arms are bendy, and the bendy wire goes all the way through. So if you wanna have the wings kinda 
go up like that. You can do that and it works pretty well. His arms shouldn't be wired. I mean, practically speaking, he's got bones in there, but it works and you can probably fudge it enough that, that it'll work. So that's okay. That's not bad at all. And then lastly, we have the legs, which are basically done like human legs. There's a ball peg in there and then there's a swivel hinge for the knee and then another swivel hinge for the ankle. So you can get pretty good posability out of those little tiny legs. None of the joints were stuck at all. In fact, they are a little bit loose. Having him stand up on those legs is a little tricky, but you can kind of get him to do this pose if you're careful with how you do the legs and the arms and stuff, which isn't, isn't really ideal, but you can do it. I'll give the articulation um, a six. It's not particularly good. Granted, it's the character design mostly that's limiting it. So it's not really a problem, but it definitely could be better articulated. And I'm not sure how I feel about the bendy wire in the arms. That's a little bit weird. You wouldn't have it bending like along here, for instance. So uh, final verdict on this release. It's certainly not an impressive release. It's not horrible. I think it's okay for the price point. I think some people are gonna wanna grab it just to like put them on a, on a shelf like this, like he's on, like he's flying and looking down on other people. And I think it's fine for that. Again, it's nothing impressive. I'm only gonna give it a uh, six out of 10. I think it's, for being as basic as it is, it needs to be executed a little bit better. I don't like the inconsistencies in the wings. Uh, I don't like the beak being painted mess, the paint on the beak area being messed up. I don't think I like the bendy wire. I don't think I like that too much. So it's not their strongest offering, but they sent it to me for a review sample, so you guys get to see the review. So there it is, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, and if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel, so make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.